In the last episode, we set off from a river mooring in Pangbourne and travelled upstream to Wallingford. Even though the journey only took us about four hours, we managed to sink the dinghy, sinking. lose the oars and wood pump. Nothing has gone according to plan today. And had another very new engine emergency. And then I found basically that the fuel filter had come loose. The fuel wasn't running through the engine. So we're on the second leg of our journey, uh, heading to Oxford today. It's meant to rain, so we've left as early as we could. Um, what time is it? Eight? Just before eight. Just before eight. See if we can have an uneventful day where uh, the engine don't go out and the dinghy don't sink. <laughs> I need to go faster to straighten out my ass. First look of the day. It's quite cold so I'm actually going to start the fire. Mostly for the dogs. But especially if it's going to rain today, it's not going to warm up much. So I just helped a boat to get through the lock. They were stuck in a lock and they didn't know how to get out. They made the same mistake we made a few times, so luckily I knew what to do. With these electric locks on the Thames, it's important to, when you press the button, to wait for the cycle to finish. So if it's flashing, it's still working. And then once the light goes solid, it's finished. So you can move on to the next step. But if you keep pressing the same button over and over again, while it's in the pro in progress well a it's not going to go any faster and b the you will confuse the machine and the only way to get out of it is to kind of start the cycle again so you're not actually doing yourself any favors so they did not know and i've helped them to reset the cycle so that was okay but we've done it as well so no absolutely no shame made you a fire so you're warm and toasty yeah Maybe George. Maybe George. It's not that far. Probably a couple of hours, maybe three months. Breaking up the journey in my hand makes it easier. So they've just switched over to yellow boards. Only just though, because obviously it's raining today. The flow's not too bad, but I suspect over the next 24 hours it's going to get faster. So it just gives us uh, more incentive to get to Oxford quickly. We've renamed Zender, by the way, to Mayhemder. Um, just because it's causing absolute mayhem. Um, floating though, it's fine. It's not <laughs> sunk today, so progress. We've got some baby geese ahead. Haven't seen them yet. We've seen some at a distance yesterday, but I think we might be able to see them up close. Miles is on breakfast duty. It's really nice and tasty inside. <laughs> so we keep swapping. Hopefully the rain will stop at some point. Yeah, it's not pleasant. But it's still not very warm.
I got so cold driving, so I came in, put on extra socks, different bottoms, underlay hair, and a hat. So I'm having hot tea, and then I'm gonna go out because while we've got the engine running, uh, it makes sense to do laundry. So Mouse is on laundry duty indoors. So I'm gonna need to go outside. The rain has stopped finally. So I'm hoping it's gonna get a bit warmer. How are we doing guys? How are we doing? Oh, look at you. Yeah. Get in your bed. We are approaching Abingdon. Just past Abingdon Lock is the wood point where we're going to stop for a bit, break, fill up the water tank, have showers, all that good stuff. And then from the Abingdon Lock, it's only about two to three hours to Oxford. It's stopped raining now, so that's good. I think we've only got like two hours left, hopefully. The warm spring seemed to be a whole month late this year. Last May, we were making this journey in t-shirts and the river level was much lower. We made it to Abington Lock at lunchtime. The lockkeeper was off, so we operated it ourselves. Lockkeepers have special keys that empty and fill locks at speed, which could be twice faster in some locks. This and stronger current means that we are moving a bit slower than usual. We're so happy to see a working water point. In the last couple of years, they've undergone some changes and we had struggled with them, to be honest. Finally, it looks like they've got a decent system in place. This is Sanford Lock in Oxford. The sky is looking so grey, it might rain anytime soon. There is a very low bridge in town that we need to be aware of, so we are taking the chimney off the roof. Not sure if it's needed, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Susie and George are staying inside while we're moving. Miles was doing laundry for a while, so they had some company.
We've just made it to Oxford. We're on the outskirts. And yeah, all we need to do is cross the town. Uh, two more locks and we should get to Port Meadow. There is a very low bridge, I would call it extremely low bridge, on the way. So we've just taken the chimney off the roof and some other stuff that we had in boxes. We just need to take down the antenna, the our Wi-Fi antenna and we should be good to go. This is a very shallow lock and controls are on the opposite side that we used to. The weather hasn't been too bad today. We thought it's going to rain for a long time, but it only rained for about an hour and it's been dry for the most of the day. It's only just started drizzling again, but we only have less than an hour until our destination. And that means also we've not really seen much, um, many boats on the river moving. Everyone probably thought that it's going to be not a very good day for cruising. George does the most adorable move. Um, I'm gonna try and catch him do it on camera. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but what he does is he's old, he's 13 years old. So when he shakes or like shake his head or something, all his four legs just go in different directions. So he looks like he's like on ice, so it's so cute, but um, he does it a lot, but I've not been able to catch it. Susie, so make him do it. We've just gone through the last lock for today, which is amazing. We are basically here. Ahead is that very low bridge. Fingers crossed the trolley is going to be okay. We haven't had the trolley here before last year. But it is lower than the, the bench, so hopefully it should be fine. I don't remember exactly if we used to turn the bench around, but we didn't this time, so um, I think it's crossed. We're gonna do it? Yeah, I think it's think fine. We're make it? Yeah, we're gonna make it. Let's go slow though. There's a lot of scrape marks under that bridge. <laughs> yeah. Port Meadow is one of our favourite moorings. We're about to find out if anyone is crazy enough to moor here and if we can find a spot. Solid? 
ish. Um, shall we do the front? I'll find a. like a paddle. Sorry. I'm so glad we're in. Really, really happy. We just arrived. It's very wet out there but because of that we're actually quite close to the bank, closer than we've ever been. We only used, well we can use one plank but we put two down next to each other. Normally we need three. One plank to another plank and then one across. So it's much better for the dogs. And I have taken him out for a very short wet walk. Um, so yeah, you guys are going to need to get some grooming done today. We're going to need to brush you and brush your teeth and see how you do. I hope you don't hate us. What's for dinner? We are having Vietnamese pho. I can't think of anything better to do than to finish a cold and wet day with a bit of hot and spicy noodle soup. Thank you all so much for watching. Please give this video a like and subscribe, it's free. If you've been watching for a while, consider supporting us on Patreon to keep these videos going. Sending you all our love. See you in the next one.